Hello everyone, today is the big day. We're about to head off to Narra Court for Natalie's Narra Court horse trials event. We're just packing up the float now. We're sorting everything out. We put all the stuff in the float. Packed all Natalie's uh, saddles, saddle pads, everything that she needs for the weekend. We've also got ourselves all packed up in here with food and drinks, Natalie's boots and helmets. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in there, numbers and everything. The exercise we're about to put in the car as well. So we're pretty much all sorted. We're just about to head off. Also, something pretty cool is for the long haul there. It's about a four hour drive. We've given Cruz a little sawdust to stand on so he doesn't have to stand on the uh, in the float where it's a little bit you know hard and uncomfy for the whole ride. So hopefully he'll be nice and comfy. I think it's quite comfy. Full bed. I think Cruz will like that. We're about to go pick Cruz up. Cruz is at Equine Advancement, so we're going to pick him up and then we're going to go head straight there. So, this is going to be a bit of a long video, hey Nat? Yeah, three days worth. Three days worth of stuff. So, I hope you all enjoy. What a wonderful. New sticker for the float. I'm really bad at putting it on. Like, why does that happen? And our four hour drive starts for Narrow Court? It's four and a half, 45. Four hours, 45 minutes? Yeah. Oh no. Gonna be good fun. So, I probably should have explained before. Today's Friday, and we're going up to Narrow Court today, so we're, we're early. Um, and can set up and so that we don't have to worry about going there super early to, on Saturday. So we've got a caravan Which we'll show when we get there. That's what we're staying it's in. so embarrassing. At least we have somewhere to sleep I um, mean, We decided to get a caravan and not stay at the campsite like we did last year Because my parents and I weren't really comfortable with um, leaving crews on the property Like by himself without us being there. He can be a bit naughty so really um, want to find out that he had been wandering around overnight and everything like that so we decided to get a caravan to stay with him so yes today we're heading up today Friday tomorrow is Saturday and tomorrow Natalie has her dressage at three o'clock so we have heaps of time to get ready and all that tomorrow then on Sunday is the big day we have show jumping and cross-country show jumping first at 9 a.m. cross-country second at 2 in the afternoon so big weekend ahead we didn't get to film it, but we just picked Cruz up from Equine Advancement and we're on our way now. Little pit stop for Cruz. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, hello. Is that a look around? We have arrived at Narra Court. It's freezing. So cold right now. <laughs> Natalie's just gonna do a little bit of a ride, a pre-ride with Cruz, <laughs> just to get him nice and like you know. Used to the grounds. Used to the grounds. Cruz's got a nice cold breeze on him right now. Hey, Cruz. Nelly's going for a little pre-ride now. What a nice little sunset, just before the sun goes down. You know, if anyone else is planning doing a four and a half hour road trip with their partner, I would highly recommend not to. <laughs> Set up, float. And the caravan. We'll just have a little inside tour. We're saying this is the kitchen. Parents' bed. Pauline and David. The dinner table. Nice little candle there. As you can see, it's very spacious. Here's the toilets. This is the shower. Yeah, it's quite big. A little table there, all that stuff on it. And here's where Natalie and I will sleep. 
There's Natalie. Hello. It's very cozy in here. Natalie. Looks like we're going into a horror movie right now. We're in a horror <gasps> movie. But we're actually going to just go feed Cruz. Oh, on. I check on Cruz and make sure he's got his food and stuff. It's fucking freezing as. It's so dark. Why is he smiling at us? <laughs> Here he is. His happy boy. He's just got a little yard to stay in tonight. Oh, he looks good. Oh, here he is. The big boy. Spooky. Ooh, Cruise. <laughs> oh, Cruise. Morning. It is Saturday morning now. Natalie's just getting the ruggers off Cruise. Um, it's pretty freaking cold at the moment. It's also dressage day today, so Natalie's got to do her dressage at three o'clock. Keen nuts? Yes. Oh, God, sorry, Cruz. I'm like, literally cannot do this right now. Smile! Smile! Oh, good boy. Cruz is getting his breakfast now. Whoa, hello, buddy. Hello. Okay. hello. Breakfast. Thank you. Oh, look, I stepped on. Hello, hello. Letting Cruz have a little eat of grass. I'm just gonna get on him at this this morning and give him a little walk around just so you can kind of see the environment again because he was a bit excited about everything new here last night. And just keep him eating grass and then I'm not even riding until 3 12, I think. Probably about two o'clock, I'll start tacking him up and thinking about getting ready and then get on for 2.30. He's got his exercise on. Cruise is finished being plotted now. So now we just have a hour of wait until we get him ready to be tacked up and everything like that for our Dress us, Jess. It's been a long day. Lots mm. of waiting. Thanks, isn't it? Courtney Monroe. Yes, thank you, Courtney, so much for doing it. She actually has an Instagram, which is at Blossom Braids. We will put it in, won't we? And you can see her braids. She is really good at it. She's really good at everything. Riding braids. Just, just go check her out. She's a great person. <laughs> Cruise has been done, which is so good. And then, yeah, we just have to wait until we do dress us. And then we're going to go walk across country course later, aren't we? Mm hmm. Taking Cruz to tack up for dressage now. It is currently two o'clock. All right, we're taking Cruz up now for dressage. Warm up time for Natalie's dressage. Cruise is looking really good. I think Natalie's gonna be really confident with him for the dress charge test. Just presenting herself to the judge now, and then we're about to go. Okay, so it's dressage time. Um, his dressage was really, really good, I think. Um, for him, he's still learning. He's still a baby. He's still got lots to look at and all of those things. Um. But this was a really good entry. I think we got an 8 or an 8.5 for this, um, which I was really happy with. Um, he kept nice and straight and just went straight down the center line. Now, this uh, loop was fairly nice. You can see he's just got his ears pointed forward, looking at all the horses warming up, um, as he usually does. But that will just come with his experience. He just needs to um, get more relaxed and comfortable in those environments. Um, this canter transition was not too bad. He didn't throw his head up, which is really an improvement for him. Um, it was pretty smooth as well. And then he didn't take off in the canter, which was also really good because usually he, um, loves to take off, but he didn't. So that was really, really good. Um, I was quite happy with his circle. I went a bit too wide here. Um, but 
overall it was pretty good and then I don't think this transition was too bad either still just looking around but you know he doesn't have much experience doing this um yet so he's always going to do that until he gets more used to being in these environments and having to work in these environments as well same thing with going across the diagonal at the start he was just looking but then once he gets going he starts to actually try a little bit <laughs> um but yeah I was quite happy with that diagonal as well then we come down to the walk and yeah you can see just there he um fully broke and just look looked out to the other horses um but that's okay he is just a baby after all so this free walk was quite good he actually got a good stretch um which I was really happy with because usually he kind of just puts his head up um and looks around but he was actually giving a little bit of a stretch there so that is an improvement and I was really happy with that um it's always in the corners that he kind of has a bit of a look around so he does here a little bit you can see him looking out to all the other floats over there um but then he comes back and he's quite nice there and then that transition was pretty average um but I didn't really set him up for it so that's probably more my fault than his fault um this was okay he's kind of just rushing and a bit tense um a little bit but it's better than usual so he didn't look too bad there and then this turn was quite good and then we go and canter and now this canter transition was not that good um he was looking out at the horses warming up so he was not listening and I actually asked for the transition probably about five seconds before he actually did it um which doesn't seem like a lot but that's a long time um if you think about it so yeah that wasn't the best transition um but then he got a good canter and then this circle was really good and unfortunately in the corner here he just slipped as you can see there and then he was upset about it which meant that this transition didn't go very well because he got upset about slipping um but that's okay because he got it together and um did a really good turn off the center line and then just kept going down um and then this halt was pretty good I just dropped the reins when I saluted going into the halt wasn't good but he halted square and then I accidentally dropped the reins but yeah was pretty good overall. His dressage chest was really good. It was just unfortunate that in the second canter he slipped and then when he slipped it kind of made him a bit like upset so then he didn't do a very good transition after that because he had just slipped um, and then his halt was pretty good at the end after that but then he did move so we're just hoping that the, hopefully the judge won't count that as he moved and hopefully say that that was a good halt so we will see what happens but yeah I'm really happy with him it was just unfortunate that he slipped but you know, our test was at three o'clock. There's been dressage tests all day, so it's getting pretty boggy and gross in the dressage arenas by now. I can't really do anything about that apart from maybe get him studs next time. Overall, he was a good boy overall. Yes. All the horses are looking. Oh, that one over there. The lone horse. They're all talking to him. Even Cruz. So we sort of cruise out and now what we're doing is walking the 80 uh, cross country course for tomorrow. Isn't that right Ashley? One. Yeah. Two. Oh, I wish I could jump it but I can't. Three. Four A and then four B. Oh shit. Five. Oh, shit. Six. Oh, I won't be able to jump that one. Do it, do it. Seven. A little bit of a ditch at seven, but she'll make it. Eight. In a ditch. Nine. Ten. Eleven A. And then eleven B is a skinny. 12, 13A, and then 13B on the other side over there. 
13 a into the water out the water 13 b 14 a and then down into 14 b which is a little ditch here 14 b and then up onto c there we go up here to 15 up and over 15 so they'll just, they'll probably just take 17 18 Here's 19 Jump 20 We have just got back from walking across country course So now we have to feed him And make sure he's got hay Make sure he's got water We need to let the chickens water for the night And then we're just going to chill So yeah I'm really excited about doing the cross country course tomorrow. It looks really good. There's a few questions in it, like the ABC sunken road kind of combination, but I think he will do really well. He'll be keen. He loves his cross country. So we're sitting equal six out of 25 on 67% after dressage, which I'm pretty happy with him with, considering his dressage was really good, apart from that slip. So considering that slip, I'm really, really happy with him. Just feeding Cruz now, sorting him out, filling up his water. Mm -hmm. Here he is, having some dinner. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have dinner in a sec as well. Dinner time. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Good morning, everyone. Today's Sunday. It's cross country and show jumping day. We've just fed Cruz breakfast. And cleaned out his yard. And cleaned out his yard. I'm so tired. We're pretty tired. To grab Cruz and put him on the float to go to the cross country and show jumping place. A little pretty sunrise for Cruz. Good morning, Cruz. He's had his dinner, uh, sorry, breakfast. He's so cute. Ah, a little sunrise over his head. You look good. This morning? Oh, he's so happy this morning. Oh, Cruz. Oh, you look really good in this lighting. All right, we're ready to go back to the cross country place and get ready to do show jumping across country. Here we are at the cross country and show jumping area. Cruise is looking nice. Is he gonna pour all day? I can tell already. It's gonna be really annoying, but oh uh, well, it's all part of the package. Oh, he's been such a good boy. Such a good boy. There you go. Exercise is on. Natalie's getting ready. Almost show jumping time. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Alright, Tack and Crew's up now, getting ready to go in a sec. This show jumping round wasn't bad. I tried to trot him here, but he just went straight into a canter. So I just kept going with it because we were going to have to canter at some point anyway. Um, he was look I just gave him a big canter around before we started just so he could see all the jumps, but less the jumps and more just all everything going along here, like all the tents and everything like that, because he still gets a bit spooked by that. Number one was okay. Um, down to number two, which he did fairly well, I think. And I jumped that on the right side because I knew that we had to turn a fairly tight turn to number three. And you can see there, he just lost his rhythm. So I just had to push him a little bit, but that was all right. And then he got four really well. And then turning around to five, did a nice flying change there. Um, but chipped into this got the two strides and then just got pretty long going towards the warm-up and just rubbed the top of that rail and had it down um, but that's pretty standard for him going towards the warm-up he always rushes towards the warm-up it's just his experience um, and something that we need to learn and get better at I'm not sure what happened there I think we just rushed and then got a bad stride that one was okay 
And then the last jump, there was only nine jumps in this round, um, so it went pretty quickly. But the last jump, he did really, really well. Um, we just had the one rail down, um, but other than that, it was pretty good, and I was pretty happy with it. Can you hear me right now? It's so windy. So I just did my show jumping, and he was really good, but it was very, very spooky. Um, there was lots of tents, you know, people around. So he was kind of a bit looking, but we only got one rail, um, which was good. So And we moved down to ninth place. This is all right. All right, Cruz is back from show jumping and now he's got his exercise on and Natalie is getting ready for cross country. How do you think he went with show jumping? Show jumping was good. It was a little bit hard to jump because the ground was really soft. So a lot of riders got rails, including us. So we had one rail. Thankfully, it only moved us down to ninth place. So I thought we would go down a lot more than that. But yeah, a lot of other riders had some issues in this that, and especially as the day went on, the class after us in the 95, a lot of people had issues in that one because of the ground and stuff like that and now they're doing the 65 so we just have to wait and see how they go but overall i'm really happy with him and hopefully we go really well on cross country and move up or whatever yeah this is what we have to deal with why ready to go all right there's some warm-ups and we're good to go Hey guys, so as you would have just saw in the previous clip, um, my cross country run was cut short because I actually fell off. Yeah, so how it happened was he was going so well around the first part of the course. I'm really happy with him still because he absolutely smashed the combination at 11 A and B, which was a wide rail to a skinny rail and with two strides in there. And he hasn't really done much um, cross country combinations before like that kind of type and not much skinnies but he didn't even bat an eyelid to that he was so good and bold also there was an apex which again i think we have trained apexes once or twice with show jumps but never a cross country apex and he just flew over that and also number six maybe he could have come across a bit of a standoffish fence as it was quite an upright um kind of ramp thing but he flew over all of that. Unfortunately, when we got to 13A, he just had had enough. So 13A was where the water was. Um, so it was A was a log down to the water and then up to B, which was another log um, kind of on a little bit of a curve. And he jumped in really well over the log, but I think he just did not know or didn't expect there to be water and a change of sand color. It was like a bright yellow kind of sand on the other side so he just jumped in and stopped yeah he was just genuinely spooked i don't think he was being naughty or anything i think it was just his babiness and greenness coming through genuinely didn't expect there to be water on the other side so he stopped and i kept going and just front flipped over his head into the water partly my fault as well i should have been sitting back and not anticipated him to go through because if you know cruise you know he rarely has a stop. So I really didn't expect him to stop and I should have been leaning back as you would to jump something downhill into water, but I just didn't expect him to stop. So I was leaning forward, he stopped and I just front flipped straight into the water. And I know Cruz was genuinely scared because if you know Cruz as well, you know he loves to cause havoc, make everyone's day a little bit more stressful. I know if he was doing it to be naughty, as soon as I hit the ground, he would have been off galloping around the cross country course, probably lining up some one star, two star jumps as, as he would. But I know he was genuinely scared because by the time I had fallen, realized I had fallen and stood up, he was still standing at the water 
with his legs splayed and his eyes like looking at the water and just waiting for me to come and get him. I know he was genuinely scared and it was just his baby in greenness coming through, which is fine because he is very new to this still and so am I. So it's okay that we had a fall, but I am very keen to go to the next event at Hills in Barossa, which is where Ronella was held and, and do that cross country course again in the 80 to give me confidence. Not that I lost any confidence, I rode this before tonight and haven't felt nervous at all. I just, I trust him and I know it was a genuine mistake for him. And he's jumped in down log drops into water and everything like that before. So I know it was just a genuine mistake and spook on his part. So I'm really excited to get going at Hills and Barossa again and do that one. This weekend we do have some show jumping at Strath. I wasn't gonna take him and then I just thought, you know, just to make sure I definitely have my confidence for Hills and Barossa, we're just gonna go and do the 85 and the 95 in the unofficial competition and see how we go there. And then yeah, Hills and Barossa and then Canoe Tree, all in the 80, I'm not stepping back down. I don't feel like I need to step down to 65 again because it really had nothing to do with the jumps. We got all the way to 13A and he was amazing and he actually jumped the jump. He just stopped on the other side when he realized there was water. So yeah, I don't feel like we need to step back down to 65. I didn't really have, this. there's water water in 65 anyway so overall I'm still really happy with him there are still lots of positives to take out about the cross country and also the event overall he did a really good dressage test and his show jumping around was good as well he just unfortunately pulled one back rail everything else I am still really happy with it he killed the apex he was so bold and his usual bold self he just didn't quite expect there to be water on the other side of the jump unfortunately there was a tragedy that occurred on the weekend which really stuck with a lot of people and had really affected a lot of people and I just want to say that my thoughts and Lucas's thoughts are with the people involved and Usman and Benny the amazing beautiful horse who tragically lost his life yeah I don't know how you can ever get over something like that that is so tragic and I, I just feel so heartbroken for all of those people that were involved Lucas and I have our condolences and thoughts to them as well thank you so much guys for watching we will see at the next event which will probably be my Strath show jumping but I'm not sure if Lucas is coming to that one so it could be Hills and Barossa but there's lots of good events coming up so I'm very excited to do all of those get going again and yeah I will see you guys very soon in the next video make sure to check out One Better Equestrian I'm wearing one of their new tops that they have just released and they have also released literally this week new beanies in black and grey so make sure to check out One Better Equestrian thank you so much guys for watching we'll see you at the next event goodbye what a wonderful